More than a decade, New Orleans-based Taylor Energy hid the true size of its oil leak just 12 miles off the tip of Louisiana. But now there are claims the leak might even exceed the size of BP's devastating spill. Investigative reporter David Hammer takes a look at that claim in this Verify report. Taylor Energy acted like its Gulf oil leak from 14 years ago was no big deal. So environmentalist Jonathan Henderson flew us out there to show us how bad it really is. So every time you come out here, you can see a miles long rainbow sheet. And now a new government commissioned scientific report says it could be even worse. In fact, the high end estimate from the new report would make the Taylor leak one of the largest oil spills in U.S. history. Oh, and the question is, why did you just take Taylor Energy's word for this to begin with? Why haven't you been doing some active monitoring? And to me, that's the story. I mean, they haven't been held accountable. A story this week by The Washington Post went a step further. It said the Taylor leak is, quote, threatening to overtake BP's Deepwater Horizon disaster as the largest ever. We set out to verify that statement. The report by geoscientist Oscar Pineda Garcia offers a very wide range of possible spill rates for the Taylor leak. Only his fastest possible spill rate would yield a total spill size larger than BP's. And then only when compared to the smallest estimate of BP's spill. Using Pineda Garcia's average spill rate would put the Taylor leak a full 10 years away from matching BP. It's really an apples to oranges comparison anyway. One is a long-term cumulative impact over a 14 year period. And the effect of that on the environment is much different than a cute spill over 89 days. That's why we can verify the Washington Post statement is misleading. And if you have a story you want us to verify, let us know on social media or send us an email to verify at wwltv.com.